Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Do The Work. Here, we're gonna tackle question 32 of the math proficiency test for teachers in Ontario. This is a test that teachers have to take in order to get certified. So we're doing these videos to help them practice and really understand the math, but these videos generalize to other people as well. So this question is, Zed had, has a bag of 40 marbles, a quarter of them are red, 12 are blue, the rest are white, and if he reaches in the bag without looking, what is the probability that he will select a white marble? So probability, we kind of have to know what probability is, right? And probability is often defined some, as something like this. If we have the probability of picking a white marble, well, it'd be the number or I'll write a little hashtag symbol, the hashtag white, the number of whites, marble over the total number of marbles. So over N, so total number of marbles. So IE, it would be W over W, or I'll, I'll do them in order because we have red plus blue plus W. So we have some marbles here, and I encourage you to try this problem by yourself. Uh, you should be able to do it given that you've done the other videos here, because there's a few on probability and there's other on fractions and so on. So the first step that we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to find the number of reds. So I'll, I'll do it in red to match. So we have the number of red. So we have that the fact is that we have a quarter of 40 marbles are red. So of, if you remember this, I'll, I'll write it in green. In math is of is equal a, t a multiplication always. So for example, um, half of 100, you do half times 100 and that's 50. So of and then if you have like two by four then it'd be a di division but we don't have a by here so really what we have is half of a quarter of 40 so it's a quarter times 40 we need to know how to multiply fractions but we multiply the top and bottom and we'd have 40 over 4 or we can simplify this right now by dividing by 4 we'd get 10 we'd get 1 so essentially we get 10 so we have 10 like we have R is equal to 10. And then we have 12 blue. So we have that blue is equal to 12. And then the whites, for this I'll just do the whites is the rest, right? So we know we have 40 in total. So um, maybe I'll do this. We have the whites, which is 40 minus 10 red. So we have 30 marbles left. And then we have 12 blues as well. So I'm taking away the other ones to get the leftover whites. So I have 30 minus 12. I think that is 18 whites. I think. Uh, let's see. 12. So let's do W is equal to 18. And then let's just see if our math checks out. If we have... Eight, uh, 12, 10 plus 12 plus 18, that gives us 40. Okay, so that, that that's good. We checked our math, and I'll just put the whites here to give myself a little bit more room. And then we have 18 whites. And let's go back to the question. What is the probability that it'll select a white marble? So we have 18, and if we look at our formula here, we have a, the number of whites over the total number of marbles. So let's do that step one. And now that's step two. So the probability of selecting a white is equal to the number of whites. Whites, that's not how you, the number of white over the total number. So that's 18 over 40. And we could simplify this fraction by dividing both by two and we'd get nine over 
9 over 20. And then we could do times 5 to find the, the probability. So we know it's 45. But we could just do the math manually as well. So it'd be 18 divided by 40. And that's 45. And that is probability is always between 0 and 1. So that is 0 0.45 or 45 percent that's the same thing so and that's 45 over 100 essentially right 45 per 100 so if you had 100 marbles in the bags with the same proportion you would expect to get on average 45 so our final answer is 45 and to build our intuition here and if you're still confused about what probability is check out these videos um like they'll help and you can program a bit and I know like most of you probably are not interested in learning to program but we can still use the code here and you can email me my emails in the description and you can contact me comment on this video if you want to get the R code and if you want to learn I could probably teach uh, R programming a little bit in future videos as well. So what we do here is this is, I used R, it's a statistical software because I'm doing my master's in statistics. So that's what we use mostly. And, and that's what I'm comfortable in. So what I did is I put the number of marbles to be M and that's 40. And then I do the, the number of reds, that's a quarter times M. So a quarter times 40. So really that's just 10, right? Or I'll do it in, in, in the proper color. So that's 10 and then that's 12. And then the number of whites is 18. So the here I just do red that repeats it 10 times. So really that just says red, red, red. That's three, so all the way to, so I'll write 10 times, something like this. And then this is blue 12 times. And then this is white 18 times. So when you see our bag here that I, I just combined them, these are all the marbles. And you should see red 10 times, white 18 times, and blue 12 times. So now we can sample. So that means you can pick 100 marbles from this bag. And every time you take out a marble, you put it back. So that's the replace equals tr true. That means you put it back so the probability stay constant. So when you put it back and you pick 100, this is this part, the set seed is just so we can reproduce this, um, this example. So if you type this code in R, you'd get the exact same numbers as I did. Whereas otherwise it'd be random and you might be a little bit off. So here I checked the observed probabilities. So that's in the sample. Well, it turns out I sampled 40% of them were white. Whereas in theory, there's, we're supposed to get uh, zero, uh, 45%, right? So you can still see that the empirical probabilities, the probabilities that we actually got are fairly similar to the, or well, I should say are very similar to the theoretical prob uh, probabilities. And that would be the case when we increase n. Uh, I'll write this here. When we pick instead of a hundred, let's say we picked a million marbles, then these probabilities would approach the true probabilities. So I'll put a little p naught. So that's the true ones, and that's the empirical ones or observed ones. So. That, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this. And let me know if you have any questions, comment and like this video. And please hit the subscribe button to support the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.